How's it going guys? Happy Who Tech back at you with a mod another modding tutorial. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get a complete overhaul graphics for Doom 3, as well as a couple add-ons um, that are included with the mod download, such as having the E3 or B of G edition, I should say, uh, marine armor, as well as the Hell Knight replaced as the Birdman, which was uh, shown at E3 that was never imported completely into the game. And as well as the E3 Alpha version of Doom 3, uh, pistol, shotgun, and machine gun, uh, particle, um, graphics overhaul, and lighting overhaul. So we're going to jump into it, and we're going to do the graphics um, first, followed by those things that I just listed, and you can pick and choose uh, what you want to add, um, but all of them I will be going over individually, step by step. So let's jump right into it. So you're going to click in the first link in the description, or the only link, and you are going to, it's going to take you to ModDB to D3 HDP, Doom 3 Essential HD Pack. And you're going to scroll down, and you're going to see this big red download 2.2 gigabyte download. And you're just going to go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, you're going to see download D3 HDP version 2.zip. And you're going to go ahead and click on that as well. And it will start downloading. Or if you wait there long enough, it'll start downloading. Now, I already have it downloaded. So you can go ahead and pause the video. And whenever it's done downloading with you, you can continue. Moving on, though, once it's done downloading for you, you're just going to click on that or right-click and open the file location. And we're going to go ahead and minimize out of this now. And you're going to have add-ons, D3HD pack, and a readme text. So we're just going to click on this. So once you have your zip open, you're just going to take this, drag this to the side, and open this up right here. Then you're going to go ahead and open up your file explorer. Once you're in your file explorer, you are going to want to go to your drive that has your Steam in it. So before we do this, we're going to take our file, Explorer, and we're going to drag this over to our left and bring this over on the left side of the screen. So on our right is the download, and the left is our file, Explorer. So you need to find your D drive that has your Steam Doom 3. For me, it is in my D drives. So whatever drive it is for you, you're just going to double click. And then from there, you're going to click on, click on Steam. Double click on that. Find Steam Maps. Double click on that. Navigate to Common and double click on that. And then Doom 3 and double click on that. Now, from here, this is where the file importing is going to begin. We're going to actually start getting the mods. So make sure you don't drop any files uh, in the wrong place or anything because it can really screw things up. So we're going to open up the D3 HD pack in the mods. You're going to open that up. And then once you open that up, um, you could theoretically just highlight all three of these and drag these over. Um, but I've done this two times now, and sometimes for some reason the base won't go where it's supposed to. Um, or it won't transfer over for some reason. So we're going to do this, like literally, we're going to drag everything in individually. So first we're going to hit the base. And we're going to double click on our Doom 3 base. And now we're going to open up the base and the download. You're going to take everything from auto exec.cfg to zz underscore pack 007 sic pk4. And you're going to take all this and you're going to hold and drag and place this over. Make sure you place this in the white for everything going forward. Make sure you place this over in the white because by accident you can drop it in a different file. So just go ahead and put it there and let go and let that transfer over and extract <clears throat> once that's done extracting and moving over we're just simply going to click back on our download and we're going to hit back on that and now you will see a d3 le so we're going to go back into our doom 3 and right now we're at our base. All you're simply gonna do is hit back arrow, and you're just gonna take this D3LE, click and hold it, drag it over, 
and drop it on all in in the white here and that will be it for that next is the d3 xp so we're going to double click on this from the 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 downloaded mod pack and we're going to open up our d3 xp from our base and you're just going to take this zzz pack 102 and click and hold that and drop that down on in and we're going to hit back on our theme 3 and we're going to go back on to uh, back to the main directory for the download zip. And that is it for the D3 HD pack. As of right there, you now have the complete overall of the game with what you just put in from the D3 HD pack. You don't have to do the things going forward here. Although I do highly recommend trying out the E3 weapons and the particles and the enhanced lighting. Uh, as well as the BFG uh, marine armor. I just think it looks a lot cooler in my opinion. Um, but now everything going forward uh, will be exclusively up to you and you can pick and choose what you want. So if you just wanted the graphic overhaul, then that's all the more you're going to need and have fun playing. If you do want more of the stuff that I had listed earlier... What you're going to do now is you're going to double click on add-ons. And we're going to do this from top to bottom. So if you look here, we have the marine armor from the BFG. The Birdman, which was shown at E3 that will replace the Hell Knight. The Body Stay Forever, which I forgot about that one. Improved Lighting. The E3 Alpha Weapons, which will replace the pistol, the shotgun, and the machine gun. And the Particle Enhancer as well. So we're going to start from top to bottom, like I said. So if you want the marine armor, the BFG, and Alpha bfg armor you're going to go ahead and double click on that and in your base doom 3 because now you're you're still in the main directory you're just going to go to your base and you're going to take the um zz alpha and bfg armor pk4 and the zz player alpha helmet now from what i understand you can just have the armor so if you just want the armor not the head um, for your main character. Uh, as you can see here, this says player alpha helmet. So if you want your Doom Marine to have the alpha armor as well as the other Marines, but you don't want your character to wear the helmet that was shown and presented at E3 or have a Marine helmet, then you won't want this. For those of you that want just a lower part of the body armor, um, you're just going to grab the ZZ Alpha and BFG Marine Armor PK4, and you're going to drag this over into your base directory. For those of you that also want the armor plus your character having the helmet, the Alpha helmet, you're going to also then take the player Alpha helmet and drop that on, on as well. And that will cover that. And that is it. Then now you have the Alpha a Marine Armor. And again, um, if you don't want the helmet... Uh, you just want the armor for the other Marines and just your lower part for your character. Then you would just get the top one, which is the ZZ Alpha and BFG Armor Pack 4. For those of you that want the Birdman that was shown at uh, E3, that was supposed to be the original Hell Knight, that was scrapped, you were going to double click on this. And again, you can stay where you are in the base. You're just going to take the two of that. To those files, you should have the Birdman HD and the Vanilla. And then highlight those and drag these over and place these on in. If you want your the bodies to stay forever, um, you're just going to double click on that. And this one's going to be a little bit a little bit more integral. So what you're going to do is take the Pack 9 Invis Pack 4 right here that you see at the bottom. And you're going to drag that here. Then you're going to open up Base and put that one here. As well, the PAX 008 Gore. Now you're going to go back on your zip, and now you see there's the D3 XP, which is the Resurrection of Evil file. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our base now, and we're going to get out of this in our main directory and go to the D3 XP, and we're going to take this PAX 009 Gore in this PAX 4, and we're going to click and drag this and drop this on on in. We're going to hit back. Head back to base, and now we're going to go back on our zip, and now the next thing you will see is the default improved lighting.
If you want to have enhanced lighting, and the, I really recommend this, the rockets and the explosions are just crazy, especially with uh, just the particles that you see. Um, it, it's amazing. So if you want this, double click on this, and you will see this PAX009 underscore Fong PK4. I'm going to simply drag that and drag that into your base now. Now, you're not going to see that replace. Uh, the reason that replace was showing up for me was because I originally had this mod. I tried to delete all of them for you guys so that it was a similar, almost down to a T, what you guys were going to see. But you won't see that replace. You'll just drag it over and it'll be there. Next, we're going to go back now. And that is it for the improved lighting. The next is my favorite out of all of them, which is the E3 weapons. So if you wish to have the original... Uh, machine gun, shotgun, and pistol. You're going to double click on this and you're going to take everything from the machine gun. You're going to drag that over if you want the machine gun. If you want the pistol, go ahead and drag that over as well. And then your alpha shotgun, drag that over as well. Again, you don't have to take all three of them. If you just want the machine gun, go ahead and just drag the machine gun over. If you just want the pistol, etc., just pick and choose what you want. If you want all three, take all three and put them all in then. Last but not least is the Fronzo Particles version 2. This will increase the particles in the game. And you're just simply going to open that up now. And it'll be the PAX 666 Fronzo PK4. You take that and drag that in and drop that down on it. And that is it. That is the mod. Um, that will include everything that you will need uh, as far as the gameplay and everything. And... Uh, with the end of this being the tutorial, I'm going to show a little bit of footage of what you guys will have in mind um, and what it's going to look like and everything, just so that you got, got an idea of the whole package of what's to come. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the modding tutorial. I hope this really helped you guys out. I try to make this as simple as possible. Please let me know if you need any help in the comments. As well, if you want any other modding tutorials for any game um, or anything specifically to Doom 3, Please let me know. I'm up to doing more content. I love doing modding and figuring that stuff out. So please, if there's a game, a mod for a game that you're having a hard time with that you'd really like to figure out, um, but you can't, um, please let me know and uh, I'll look into it and uh, post a video on it for you guys. I really appreciate that and um, happy hoods out.